At this point, this video on Randonautica feels obligatory as I pretty much have been unable to escape the rounds and discussion surrounding this individual topic. If you followed me for a while, you know I'm not a fan of the paranormal, and I'll try and keep this thing as concise as possible as a way of getting you guys up to speed and explaining the hype surrounding this individual topic that I've been sent at least 20 times this week. Randonautica is an app that has been gaining a lot of attention as it is a create your own adventure game on your phone, and the app basically tells you to go to a location nearby and set your intention based on what you quote unquote want to experience. To quote their website, Randonauting is the act of using the Randonautica app to generate truly random locations sourced with quantum entropy. The user can then choose to venture to these locations to see what they find. They often discover what they see lines up with their intention, which is what they were thinking about when they generated the point. But even if that doesn't happen, it's a way to mindfully explore the world around them. There are two main parts to rando nodding, exploring blind spots or creating places nearby that are outside your conscious awareness, and experimenting with mind-matter interaction, the hypothesis that the consciousness can influence the distribution of random numbers. A quick Google search for any formal scientific studies surrounding this hypothesis will tell you that there is basically no evidence to support this idea, but if you do believe this to be true and you somehow possess this ability to affect random numbers, please hit me up because I'd love for you to play the lottery for me. While the app might sound fancy, it's basically this year's Pokemon Go minus the Pokemon. And as you can imagine, as more teens start to venture out when many of them don't have school, they are bound to run into some bizarre things, thus creating this novel idea for an app. However, the biggest story and event that has been surrounded by the situation was when a user on TikTok by the name of Ugg Henry posted a video claiming that Randonautica had led them to a beach where they came in contact with a bag of human remains in Seattle. This bag contained the remains of two people that were shot around 10 days earlier, and their names were Jessica Lewis and Austin Wenner, and there is still a full investigation underway. And the kids decided to film the scene and post it to TikTok a day after this happened, after a report had been released. While I'd normally be critical of kids looking to capitalize off of dead bodies as a way of getting TikTok clout, and while the situation is a little bit different than with Logan Paul and his body filming antics, I am actually happy in this case as it is raising money for a potential reward towards any info leading to the solving of this case. Now, regarding the hype around Randonautica, it really goes hand in hand with social media and TikTok. As you can imagine, any app that sends a bunch of people to random locations in their area creates more urban exploration, thus leading to more of these spoopy coincidences. And as you can imagine, TikTok kids love attention, so this has sparked a lot of other situations, some of which are fabricated, but ultimately the goal for most of these kids is to just soak up as much clout as possible while writing off the main story. For example, here's one chick who conveniently found a locked box inside of a fountain, and on their way there, you'll notice one of the friends has a backpack, to which the same kid with the backpack is now off frame pointing to the locked box inside of a public fountain. I'm sure the leasing office that is open every single day never noticed that. She then goes on to drag this out for four or five more TikToks while simultaneously doing brand sponsorships with Bang Energy. Holy shit, she has so many followers, what the fuck? But to basically explain Randonautica in a nutshell, it has basically created a feedback loop. Teens see viral TikTok, want to go viral themselves, and create Randonautica spoopy situations. More spookiness leads to more shares, and the cycle continues. There is nothing inherently mysterious about Randonautica. Bizarre coincidences can happen every day. It's basically just another internet trend that will be gone in about a month. This is Barely Sociable. Have a good night.